Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Valkyrie Idol with farming setup for beginners. So if you Valkyrie Idol player or perhaps Idol Gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then smash this like button as well. Right then guys, so finally something new on the channel, I will be releasing a little bit more new content in the nearest future, I still got few more videos to wrap up on the old games I'm playing obviously now for a few weeks if not months, and then we will see some new upcoming games. This is one of them and it has also been mentioned in one of these videos when I'm talking now about monthly upcoming idle games. I have not launched that on a day one when it was released as obviously I'm still limited on how many games I can play at once. But nevertheless, I wanted to try something new and the Valkyrie Idol is one of these new games from Moby Riggs and Moby Riggs is pretty much majority of the games you will see on my channel as these guys pretty much dominate the idol scene right now. So nevertheless, we are here now with a Valkyrie Idol and because I have started uh, pretty late, I have launched my game pretty much on a ranking close to 100,000 um, and now pretty much I have managed to squeeze it within a day or so all the way to a 16,000. This is still obviously far, far off from being any of the top spots. But nevertheless, I want to share this strategy with that allow you to progress much faster. And then basically, if I just tap very quickly on this low powered mode, the two main resources that you want to focus is going to be actually experience and gold. You're going to see some of the items potentially popping in just a second. We still got a running event, which I have unfortunately landed on the last two days of it. So I'm not going to squeeze so much more out of that. But basically, we want to focus with this strategy to get as much experience and gold. And this is obviously a primary um, aspect that you want to review and that's going to be a companions itself. So if I would tap on to auto equip now, obviously I would just fill all of these six companions with a double S ones. And this will massively increase my damage output, but yet again, you want to actually not, not necessarily deliberately reduce your damage output, but you want to put companions with a certain perks. So if you just have a look, uh, basically um, every single companion and upgrade will always give you a passive uh, effect when it comes to attack itself, but we are interested in this equipped effect. And we're talking here about either experience gain or a gold drop and basically as we're gonna come along as you see pretty much I'm talking about top six of the companions you can wear at a time to boost these very stats and also try to upgrade these companions to a level 100 plus wherever possible because if you do so then you're gonna unlock potential slots and then you can even more influence these two stats so when I'm talking about reducing your damage, that will obviously um, equals to farm on the lower stages and that's absolutely fine, you've got nothing to worry about. I'm currently farming on a stage 2710, but if we tap on the walls itself, I'll be able to pretty much farm on a world 33. So I'm actually moved even six walls down. Obviously, depending on where you are with your gameplay, you'll be able to adjust it. As long as you pretty much killing monsters with one shot, this is this is gonna be your sweet spot. And I have actually run the test where I have not gone to a my max potential area. I have dropped few stages. Uh, I went there on a full full offense, but yet again, in comparison of a, this very strategy and grinding on a full benefit of golden experience, you are able to farm at least twice more resource. And obviously, bear in mind, I have um, unlocked and upgraded quite a lot of these offensive companions as well, so I'm still lacking in this very aspect of the game, but I know as it stands, running my own test, this is at least twice stronger build and this will help you obviously to boost a more gold which will translate into strengthening your character and obviously as well you're gonna achieve more levels which also equals to strengthen your character in a long run so especially in the early stages and the game has been released perhaps for a week or so this is one of the strategies that you need to apply obviously 99% of the time where you're not actively competing with um, other players or grinding any dungeon itself. When you're on that full full auto grind, this is something you want to look into and apply at all times. So that will be it guys when it comes to this first initial video about these very games. Obviously so much more to come, I will definitely cover more content on this very title. So keep your eyes peeled and as always guys, I'll see you next time.